around my story. My life has taught me that each one of us has more than one face. And there are faces that are much worse than our nightmares. My name is Susan, and the story I will tell you needs to understand my reasons before judging me. When I was in school, I was one of the celebrities that all the kids wanted to be with, including Josh, one of the school bullies, who was obsessed with me and tried to get close to me in every way. But I could not, because I had always rejected him. But also, this was not my reality, which I hid because my family was very poor, and I was embarrassed to show them to my friends or to anyone. And at that time, I became in relationship with my friend Max. And Max was one of the boys that I could call the idiots of the school because he was very mean. And the rest of the students were surprised that I chose him. And despite this, all the students, even the bullies, including Josh, were afraid of Max and could never get close to him, which was strange. The days passed and I left Max. I left the city with my family and our financial conditions turned from bad to worse. And one day, when I was leaving the university, a young man in a very cool car stood in front of me and smiled at me without speaking before introducing himself, that he is Max, the school friend. He searched a lot until he found my address. Yes, this is strange, but the splendor of his car and the surprise of the situation made me forget everything and then we became into a relationship again. He was very rich, and his house was like palaces. I was not mainly interested in knowing the source of this money because I knew that Max's father was rich since the school days, and this is not strange. But over time, I noticed his strange behavior. I became sure of my suspicions that there was something strange when I found a large quantity of drugs in one of Max's bags. At first, I hid that, but at some point, I told him what I saw and that I knew he was a drug dealer. At that time, he was very calm and told me that each one of us has something to hide. And this was my truth. I was just a girl who had been lying that she was someone else all her life. But I couldn't bear this situation. And that's why I called the police. They came to Max's house and arrested him and his men, except for a group that managed to escape. They gave me a big financial reward because Max was one of the most dangerous wanted drug men, but I lost Max forever. Of course, it was not true love, but this does not prevent that it caused me great pain. I decided to leave all this and go back to my family, but I did not find them and received a message. My family was kidnapped by Max's men, and they asked me to come to a place on the outskirts of the city if I wanted to see them again. Everything collapsed in my mind, and I felt like I was in a nightmare, and there was no solution for me other than to listen to their words and go to that place. There, Max's men came out to me with my family in handcuffs. For a moment, I was about to cry, but I held on. Immediately, the shooting started between the police and Max's men, as I told the police what happened and they were hiding in the place. At that time, a bullet hit my brother. The gangsters were arrested while I broke down. And I met Josh again, the school bully in the past, who was then one of the policemen who arrested the gangsters. The bullet that hit my brother caused his death, and I lost one of the closest people to me. But Josh never left me after that, and I got back in this ordeal. At that time, I made sure that I was stupid when I rejected him a long time ago and chose a fake face, just as I was fake too. Before this summer, I had zero experience with dating apps. Tinder wasn't even released until two years after my long-term relationship ended. During seven years of my relationship, I had played around on my friends' apps, but never swiped left or right. Finding myself suddenly single at the beginning of the summer, and in desperate need of distraction, I dove headfirst into the pool of online dating. I started with Tinder, because my town is too small for anything else, and my cold dead heart wanted casual dates and nothing serious. And that's the whole purpose of Tinder. Tinder met most of my expectations. I went on a handful of dates, met some cool guys, 
and some not so cool guys. I even hung out with a few truly interesting people, like a radio DJ who runs a wedding business on the side. What I did not expect from Tinder, however, was how most of these interactions started to make me feel good about myself. I mean really good about myself. Like every woman in the world, I have never been happy with my body. At a size 10, I'm labeled plus size, and I've worn glasses on and off throughout my whole life. When I'm out with my girlfriends, I'm never the girl who is hit on, flirted with, or even picked up. Ever since I hit puberty and became aware of attractive versus unattractive, I've thought of myself as filling the role of the fat friend who just sits back and smiles. Obviously, I've had boyfriends, but they've always been my friends first. So when they said you're gorgeous, what I heard was, I found you gorgeous only after getting to know you. I didn't immediately think you were pretty. I know that having someone attracted to your personality is way more important than thinking you're cute. But I wouldn't hate having just one guy who doesn't know me at all tell me that I'm attractive. Friends, family, and boyfriends, I don't believe. But a total stranger? That person I might actually listen to. This brings us back to Tinder. One of my first nights using the app, a friend and I sat on my back deck and decided who to swipe left and right on. With each it's a match, we laughed and looked into the guy's profile a bit more. After the third match, I said, These guys are just judging me on my appearance, right? And my friend nodded. So they're only swiping because they think I'm cute? Or are they just swiping on every girl? We concluded that obviously some of the guys were swiping right on every girl. But the chances of every single guy doing that were slim. We swiped some more. When I started matching with guys who were classically good looking, well, I wouldn't lie, that felt really good. A hot guy actually thinks that I'm attractive? What? No. How could that be? Then the messages started. Some guys went right in with, you're really pretty. Others went in for a conversation first before giving out compliments here and there. I know that this is how people operate on Tinder, but keep in mind that I'm not used to anything. It wasn't until I started meeting with these guys that I wondered, can Tinder actually boost my self-esteem? Two guys asked how someone as pretty as me was still single. I went on a date with one guy who told me in Spanish that I was beautiful. Another guy who I'd met up with a few times asked me, are you looking for something serious? I laughed like a loon in response. It wasn't the question that surprised me. It was the fact that I was coming from an incredibly attractive, incredibly fit guy. Because yes, I'm being shallow and only swiping right on guys who I find physically attractive. When I was done laughing, I said something awkward like, Oh, maybe? I mean, I'm not against it. My mind, however, was saying, Are you serious? Have you seen yourself? Have you seen me? I was in fact not attractive, but I simply knew how to dress well. I retreated into my unhealthy shell. Soon after that guy, I hung out with a sweet, nerdy medical student who was in town on a vacation. We got along well. The next day as we met up again, he seemed shocked that I was on a second date. He kept repeating, you're just so beautiful. I never get to do things like this. I don't know how to respond to compliments. And the medical boy shook his head. He said, don't do that. Don't body shame yourself. You're so attractive. Have you seen yourself? You're gorgeous. Something about that guy made my typical self-hate thoughts start to lose hold. Again, I know that this is the type of stuff people say on Tinder. But let's be honest, why put in the extra effort? Unless it's true. Somewhere between the casual Tinder chats, the handful of dates, my mind circled a new thought. Am I attractive? I stared at myself in my full-length mirror. I tried to see what these guys saw. Guys who did not know me at all. Guys who are not being swayed by my personality. And guys who have no reason to compliment me because I'm not looking for another relationship anytime soon. 
Suddenly I started to see it. Where I used to see unsightly lumps and a stomach I sucked in before turning off the lights, now I see a healthy, curvy, and dare I say it, slender body. Friends, family, and boyfriends have always told me that I'm attractive. But it wasn't until these strangers started repeating it over and over that I actually started to hear it. So which is boosting my self-esteem? Tinder or just plain dating? Or are they working in with one another because without Tinder, I probably wouldn't be dating at all? Romantically, I tend not to put myself out there. I typically wouldn't approach a guy and try flirting with him, for fear of rejection of course. With Tinder, however, just matching with someone seems to lessen the fear of rejection. Whether you matched with them because they're genuinely interested, or you matched because they're saying yes to everyone, seeing that it's a match message eases a tiny bit of the tension that goes into dating. Whether it's thanks to Tinder or not, in the past few months I've discovered newfound confidence. When someone compliments me, I say thank you instead of responding with a self-hatred joke. When I meet a date for the first time, I work at being my usual chatty, sarcastic self rather than being shy and quiet. I have flirted with guys and even gave a random musician my number. For once in my life, I feel like I'm someone worth dating rather than fearing my significant other might be too good for me. Did Tinder give me this confidence boost? Or am I just getting older and wiser? I don't know for sure. But what I do know is that I'm not going to stop online dating anytime soon.